Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Subsistence Land. It is, well, you know what? It's not just a beautiful day out here in this sunlight. It is, uh, it is a beautiful day in Subsistence Land. Why is it a beautiful day? Because uh, Alpha 55, the next release, is available now on the Experimental Branch. So, all right, let's be clear here. It's on the Experimental Branch. You have to opt into it. Um, it is, it, there is no, it, there is a, an element of danger involved with running, uh, experimental stuff. So, uh, don't run it unless you're willing to risk a few things. I basically back up my saves and everything just in case everything goes sideways. So yeah, if you, <laughs> if you are going to run it, you got to figure out there's a, in, in the, uh, subsistence discord. Um, I can't remember what, what, uh, directory it's under. I think it's like update discussion or something like that. Here, let, let me just. Let's here. We'll talk more, but let's let's. We have to get a couple things ready here. We're going to uh, get some sticks happening. Uh, we're going to grab a whole bunch of these guys here, and we're going to grab a bunch of these guys here, because we're going to be making some fishing tackle. Because there are one of the changes is with fishing. There's actually a whole bunch of really, really cool changes in this release. So I'm I'm really excited about it. Uh, but let's just okay i have to reiterate uh your mileage may vary the running the experimental release is uh not without risk cold games is usually pretty good like he he's he's i've never really had a big de uh issue with with his updates but you never really know and so it's it, you should always exercise caution uh with these things and and you know save do your backups as I say, take a look in the uh, the update uh, channel, and you will see some information about uh, the upcoming release. So, and also there's some instructions about what kind of which files to save, and then there's like the alpha release notes, like the, the early version of the release notes, and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, go take a look. Now, one of the uh, the changes. Uh, unfortunately, we can't do anything about it yet, but we will be able to soon. Uh, Cold Games has added ice fishing. Oh, did I remember the rod? No, I didn't. He's added ice fishing to the game. Now, we don't have ice yet, but we're pretty darn close to it, so we will be experiencing it uh, at a certain point. Uh, it's very cool. <laughs> uh, and the way it works is actually, it's, uh, actually, it looks pretty kind of, it looks pretty good. So, essentially what it is is that you can uh, chop a hole in the ice with your axe, wacka wacka, Right? You just sort of look down at the ice and you start chopping. It does use up the axe durability, so you have to keep an eye on that. And it, it, I'm going to guess that it goes pretty quick. <laughs> but anyways, um, and then it op that opens up a hole. And then if you have the fishing rod in your hand and you have uh, apparently, uh, it says, uh, it's now possible to break through the surface of the frozen lake using an axe, allowing the player to fish uh, during the winter months. With the axe equipped, look at the ice until the uh, until a progress wheel displays, then begin chopping to create the hole. This can take a toll on the axe's condition, so keep an eye on the health bar. If it's anything like the crystal in the cave, well, we know what that's like. All right, before we continue, uh, I think we should probably get uh, get some fishing happening there. But we're gonna, we're not. It's not gonna be a well. I should go out and loot because update days are usually filled with loot, but. We've got important business here that we have to take care of because it is also fishing related. Uh, so um, you can uh, basically the you can open up a hole in the ice, and not only can you fish through the hole in the ice, you can jump into the lake and swim around. And oh, is this? We're gonna find out. There's also new fish in the game. So yeah, and we're gonna find out about that. Uh, maybe, possibly. <laughs> Uh, this is the... Hey, there's one of the new fish! It is a perch. And look at that. It's pretty similar to the uh, small fish. It's slightly larger from what it says in the release notes. Uh, but we'll, as I say, we're going to get into that a little more. Let's just keep going because there's more. Um, right, so you can swim through the hole in the ice. with Make a hole with your axe. Swim down in, and it, it just you just sort of jump into the, the water. And then um, you can sw either come out back through the hole that you made oh what's this one oh, we're gonna find out it might be the bass actually that's not new but it's still pretty cool or it's another perch we'll find out all right so you can either uh so, or you can if you have enough air oh it's another perch nice okay that's cool that's cool let's keep going uh 
but while you're underwater, if you have your axe in your hand, you can actually chop a new hole in the ice. So uh, the side effect of that, it says ice, he has a section called ice holes and winter cave water access. So players can descend through the ice holes, giving new access to water and cave locations throughout the winter. I've added a vault mechanic uh, for pulling yourself out from the ice hole while underwater. So you can chop the hole in the ice and then it, it sort of vaults you out, apparently. Um, ice holes will eventually refreeze over. I have code in place to reduce the rate of refreezing if a hole is being actively used but it will eventually refreeze regardless. So yeah, it's uh, refreezing over will depend on how much you use it. Okay, that's cool. So if you use it every day, presumably it'll, it'll stay there. Um, also, uh, be careful to carry an ax when exploring caves during the winter as you may need to break through the ice to exit the frozen lake on your return. So now you can go into the, uh, the caves um, in, in the winter. Now, apparently there was a mechanic and this has always been a well, like an, uh, a very asked for, asked about thing. Is well, what happens if the if the lake freezes when you're underwater? Well, uh, it used to not freeze. That was the mechanic. He'd put in some code to prevent the uh, cold games had put in code to prevent the, the prevent the uh, the lake from freezing over. Well, is this another perch? Oh no, it's a little fish. All right, cool. Let's just keep going. Um, he'd put in a mechanic to prevent it from freezing until you got out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That is no longer true. He has removed that, and he is apparently... Now, if you want to get out in the winter, if it freezes over, you have an axe. And if you don't have an axe, you die. <laughs> that's pretty well it. <laughs> Which, that's pretty cool. Uh, he's also added beehives and honey. So during the summer months, uh, bees will now build hives that can be harvested for honey. The hives are fairly rare and can be found attached to tree trunks. An axe or a pickaxe can be used to harvest the, the, uh, the hive to yield honey so it, there's you can get honey out of from from the from the hive uh the honey can be eaten raw or used in a cooking recipe and so there is a new uh it's like a honey glazed pork or something like that we'll take a look in the oven upstairs and see what it looks like um what is this this is probably just another little fish yeah okay well we're gonna keep going because there is something pretty special that's why i made a whole bunch of tackles so that we could fish and talk at the same time uh, so, uh, right, and there's bee swarms, okay, uh, so, whoa, oh, I think my, uh, oh, I think my, um, <laughs> uh, my, my device that I'm reading from, I'm not using my screen because it, uh, uh, my computer, because if I try to tab away, it tends to mess up, and this game doesn't like that very much, so, all right, well, let me see if I can pull this back up again. All right, I got it. I got it going. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a device. It's like a little tablet that I don't use very often, and it it was updating. And yeah. Anyways, <laughs> oh, let's see what let's see what else we got. Okay, bee swarms. So uh, beehives are not dangerous unless a player attempts to harvest the honey. Attacking a hive will unleash a deadly swarm of bees. So take stock of your current condition. What is this? Hey, it's another little perch. We're getting a lot of perch. Okay, let's keep going. Um, a deadly, so take stock of your current condition and equipment before attempting to harvest a hive. Um, many players have suggesting a beekeeping mechanic could be added. Uh, this is certainly something considering for the future. So he is looking at that for the future. One of the fish that can be caught in the ponds, not the big lake, is there's a catfish. Catfish have been added to the game on the ponds. And um, they're less active during colder months. So And they cannot be caught using fish traps. They require rod fishing, all right? So, uh, but what I'm trying to get is pike can be found in the lakes and ponds in the world. They remain highly active during the winter months due to being a predatory fish. They can also uh, be caught using fish. No, they can. They also cannot be caught using fish traps and require rod fishing. And then lastly, the perch, which we've seen. Uh, they can be found in all the ponds and lakes, however, are more common in ponds not from what I've seen. <laughs> uh, they provide slightly more protein than the existing small fish, and they can be caught in fish traps. Uh, they can be cooked whole or harvested for fish oil. So it's the same as the, uh, the, little, the little fish, right? They have the same thing. Um, oh, this one's kind of brutal. Small animals can now be destroyed by live ammunition. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. You know, it's like one of the first things people do when they start playing this game is they try to shoot a rabbit with a pistol. And and it never works. It's it's always a thing. You you do it once to see what happens and nothing happens and so you never do it again because the only thing that happens is that the little the small animal runs away and then you can't get it. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Uh anyways, so uh apparently now small animals, rabbits and chickens can now be killed by a single shot of any live ammunition. However, doing so will destroy the potential resource gains and leave you with a mangled corpse and a satisfying splat effect. <laughs> oh, cold games. Oh, the horror. <laughs> the horror. The only uh, current use for mangled corpses is to allow it to decay into rotten meat. <laughs> There's even pictures. All right. <laughs> I, he says he feels that this change is more intuitive means of maintaining gameplay balance rather than how it was previously, which means nothing happened. Uh, bow hunting and trapping will pers uh, preserve the animal's resources for harvesting. Doesn't really mention anything about chasing ra uh, chickens down. Maybe we should try that. There's also a new curved slanted glass wall which I might be able to make use of. Uh, this, that is intriguing. And I am really interested in trying to maybe see what I can do with that. But it's kind of like a geodesic dome wall kind of so th sort of thing. I'll show you in the build mechanic. I don't know if I'm going to be able to build one tonight or today. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, it'll attach to any curved foundation, ceiling, and wall and should offer new possibilities for some creative base designs. Whoa, don't jump. Okay, there we go. And we got a little fish. This is, today's like all about fishing. Holy moly. We're just trying to catch that pike is what we're trying to do. Uh, there is a new animal AI pathing update. Apparently, this is to address um, people were gaming animals. Basically, they were gaming the mechanic, how animals treat uh, get kind of blocked by trees, and then they can use an axe to kill the animal. I'd, I know about it. Um, I get told about it a lot. I, I don't do it mostly because I don't really think it's how the game was meant to be kind of played. It's cool. Like if you do it, I'm not, I'm not knocking you. Really, I'm, I'm not. Sometimes you just want to save ammunition and I get it. I get it. But, um, apparently he, beware if you do do that because he has, uh, Cold Games has reworked it so that they will actually path around the tree. And so, yeah, <laughs> venture forth at your peril. Uh, in the winter, there is also... Okay, uh, rose hip berries. Um, I've made more seasonal changes to the wild edibles in the world. During the colder months, blueberries will no longer avail be available. However, rose hip berries will persist through the cold. Uh, these tart berries come with a small hydration penalty. Of course they do. Effectively making winter a little bit more of a struggle. Because <laughs> it needed to be more of a struggle already. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Uh, so make sure you uh, to melt plenty of snow and keep a couple of canteens on you. Agreed. Uh, in the caves, there are now wild mushrooms. The cave systems now have a wild edible. Edible mushrooms can be found picked and growing on the cave rocks while exploring. They can be safely beaten raw. There is currently no dedicated uh, cooking recipes for mushrooms, but they will come in the future. Additionally, there is now a... Oh, hey, what... Oh, come on, pike. Oh, it might be... Oh, I mean, it could be a salmon, but it might be a pike. Uh, pork chops now have a dedicated cooking recipe coupled with honey and grown vegetables. Uh, the dish is high, highest tier meal that can be cooked during... Yes! We have pike! <laughs> cool. Okay, I think we've fished enough in here. What I would like to do is... Well, let's take a look. What's our situation? We have six tackle left. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to... We're just going to drop off what we've got here, which is... Uh, three small fish, three perch, and uh, one pike, right? And the pike, by the way, you can fillet it to get these uh, the white fish fillets, and then they can be cooked. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put them in the in the fridge here. Uh, they can be cooked uh, in the in the thingamabobber, to sort of like a fillet steak, sort of like the salmon. Uh, and app apparently, my understanding is, well, we'll get to that. Hang on a sec. Let me uh, this away. Uh, I'm going to keep some of this stuff on me just because. Let's eat a few things. What have we got in here? Oh. Oh, really? Mr. Hunters. Uh, is that enough? Maybe a bit more vegetables. Let's have ourselves a, a, a strawberry in celebration of today's momentous occasion. 
because it really is momentous. What's going on out here? I don't know. All right. Um, okay, let me just quickly uh, re go through the rest of this, and we'll just get to business. Uh, so pork chops now. Oh, yeah, let's take a look. So there's pork chops. Do, 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 do. Here, uh, put away the, uh, the... There we go. Uh, here's the pork chops. So, no, yeah, honey glazed... Okay, honey glazed pork and sautéed vegetables. Uh, so this is, uh, they have dedicated cooking recipe coupled with honey and grown vegetables. The dish is the highest tier meal that can be cooked using the frying pan. Typically, the baking pan is required for such stat-boosting recipes. All right, so basically with pork and I think it, it well, what is the, what do you need? You need two honey. So really, this is, we're going to have to wait till summer for this one. It's a couple of chops, two honey, a couple of potatoes, and some carrots. Uh, fish steaks. So he's added... Uh, here we go. Here's the fish steaks right here. I've added a new white fish item. Uh, this meat is now yielded from bass, pike, and catfish, which makes a lot more sense. Uh, it can be eaten raw, but is much better cooked. It has slightly lower stats than salmon. Also, customizable light sticks. Here we go. We can make them green, red, orange-ish, purple. Oh, Niobe's going to love that. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to make mine kind of a yellowy thing. Yeah, I'm going to make it yellow. No, green. No, yeah, let's make it yellow. There we go. It's more natural. <laughs> so there we go. Um, the glow sticks can now be customized. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and there's also crayfish. Here, let's... Oh, wow. This is kind of cool. The way this looks. Actually, here, before we do anything, let's take a look and see what the fuel situation is. Now, let's do a little bit of maintenance. Then we're going to go and try fishing in the pond and see if we can get ourselves a catfish. Even though it's winter, I, 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 think, I don't think we're going to be able to, but you know what? We're going to give it a shot. Why? Because. Because we should. And I'm, I'm just going to run around holding my glow stick like this and my, my glow stick in my hand uh, just because. There we go. Um, because it's cool. Look at how much light. I wonder how much it does at night. Well, we're going to find out because uh, I'm going to, we're going to try it, test it out in the night. Uh, crayfish can be now found in various lakes and ponds by catching them in fish traps. The, uh, they must be cooked on the fire before eaten and, or can cause infection. So, and there's, uh, they look like little tiny lobsters, of course, because they're crayfish. Uh, they are only small, but are good for good survival dietary supplement. They offer slightly more protein than small fish or perch. However, they do not yield fish oil. Uh, there's a new free camera mode for, for, for people that, uh, if you, it's an admin command. It's for server owners and stuff like that. I, I'm not going to do that. I don't do server. I don't do admin stuff. Uh, you can teleport to player, which is, again, another server admin thing. Oh, and also, um, watch this. Oh, 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 look at that. I can sit on the ground now. <laughs> here, we, here I'll, I'll look at you and I'll, with my light stick in my hand. So apparently it's the slash key by default. So you can actually sit around a campfire now. And uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, seasonal water temperatures. Um, he made some fairly large changes to the water temperature in the colder months. The water will now get much colder than previously. Temperatures are colder across easy, normal, hard core. <clears throat> That's going to be an interesting change because that's going to limit your ability to swim home in the middle of the night in the winter. M maybe. Uh, there's also insect repellent. So if you go in here, uh, there it is, insect repellent. It costs medicinal tonic and two rotten meat. And that is presumably to help you with the bee situation. Uh, it says, uh, found in the default medical crafting menu, this fairly cheap item provides temporary protect protection from insects, bite stings, useful for harvesting honey, while active, a status icon will show the right side of the HUD, so you, it'll show you this little B symbol uh, with a slat, with a with a like a the red circle with a slash in it, like with the Ghostbusters thing. Uh, currently, the only in, in, insect threat are bee stings. Um, however, uh, I have plans for mosquitoes on the roadmap. Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> uh, he's also got some other things. There's like a save, load, game improvement here. Let me uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just sort of. Uh, save load game improvement uh, 
presumably apparently it was because of uh there was issues with dedicated servers and stuff like that and it taking a long time so he did some optimizations uh harvesting hitbox updates because apparently sometimes when you it looked like you were harvesting something but you weren't uh on on dedicated and co-op servers i think uh oh no no on uh dedicated servers there are no build zones now to prevent people from blocking off cave access and stuff like that new sounds for opening medical and ammo crates and a new seasonal fish type diversity uh so basically the different types of fish at different times of the year and uh so now not only do different lake types yield different fish types but the month's seasons dictate the population and or chance of certain fish types example it is now rare to catch summer during the winter okay that's cool it fixed the a server list crash for the server uh, browser uh, temperature reading errors in the hud and lakes now freeze regardless of the player being in the cave so there you go and there's new profile stats that have been added increased temperature penalty for being wet in hardcore uh, and fishing rod improved controls previously after striking and hooking a fish if you press the reel in key while the strike animation was still in motion it would ignore the held down key press it felt unresponsive oh, okay it's cool uh, fixed incorrect animal state shown in animal traps uh, updated the menu map the menu map has been updated with greater details on foliage and trees oh and um oh yeah okay uh fix the exploit accessing base items through the walls okay well we don't care and there's a note about hosting your own server all right i think that's we've we've uh, fiddle faddled about we need we've only got a little bit of time and i've i've been talking so much uh, let's go in. Uh, we'll loot our way up to the... Am I wearing my cold weather gear? Yes, I am. Oh, don't leave house the home without your protection. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll find some crates and see what the sounds sound like. The new improved or changed sounds. Uh, you know what? That's... Uh... Oh! Oh! Whoever it was that this wolf got into a tussle with was literally right around here. So that means that, oh, maybe, oh, okay, I, you cannot harvest a wolf with an ax. Uh, so that means that there's probably a dead body around here somewhere, and I'm, but I'm just, let's take a cursory look for it, because we don't have a lot of time. Yeah, I, I, I okay, I'm not going to fiddle around. Um, let's go up to the, uh, let's go up to the, the little pond. Oh, man. Oh, right. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now. First of all, we're going to take out this wolf. I am not going to make a habit of doing this. I am going to do this for science. Oh, shoot. Of course, I could have taken my time a little bit better and uh, actually did what I was trying to do. Okay. All right. <sighs> I don't like doing this, by the way. Oh, that is, that is absolutely terrible. Okay, and then now we have a destroyed... What is it called? A ruined chicken carcass. Okay, there. You happy now? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. I'm sorry, chicken. I, he's like, what? What did you do? <laughs> that was horrifying. <laughs> yes, it was, and I apologize profusely for that, Mr. Chicken or Miss Chicken, I should say. All right, let's see if we can get a catfish. We can't get catfish in the big lake, um, but we might be able to catch one in the little lake. It is winter, and apparently they aren't really all that active in the winter. So the chances of we might we're probably not going to have success, but. You know what? We're going to try. Today's today's a fishing day. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm doing a lot of fishing today. Which is why I started this episode out by basically crafting a whole crap ton of uh, fishing tackle. Because I knew this was what was going to happen, to be honest with you. Um, Actually, you know what? Here. there's I see a crate up on the hill. I want to hear the... The chances of cat, catching a catfish are, are slim, but I... While we still have some light... That's it, chicken. You better run. 
It's like, <laughs> bro, I thought you were terrible before. Now I think you're 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 just like, you're just the worst. Oh, for crying out loud! Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go and get that crate. <laughs> Good thing it's not angry moose season. Oh, there's a, the hunter. Oh, here's the ammo crate. Okay, it's got a kind of a rolling mechanical sound to it. Oh, I'm going to get this scrap because I need it badly. And let's see if we can find ourselves a... I'm not shooting the rabbit, by the way. You got... You know what? Oh, that might be a, that might be one up there. Uh, you got what you... No, no, I am not... I'm not shooting the rabbit. Oh, here's the rose hips. Nice. Oh, it's another ammo crate. Okay. Well, I'm not unhappy about that, by the way. I like ammo crates. But I do want to hear the uh, do want to hear the medicinal crate sound. Okay. Let's come down through here. Past Mr. Wolf. We're just gonna we're just going to let him do his thing, and we're going to hope we can find ourselves a medicinal crate before it gets too dark. Oh, boy. And you know what? Hopefully tonight... Oh, there's another one. Hopefully tonight... Oh, God! <laughs> and there's another wolf right over there. It's, it's, the, it's the time of the wolf, apparently. All right, let's keep going. My stamina is still good. I'm not worried, but really, I do want to find a, uh, a medicinal crate, and I don't know if we're going to be able to... Oh, there's a... I think that's a locked crate. No, that's... No, that's a uh, building crate. <laughs> that chicken... That chicken is deathly afraid of my presence now. I have proven my untrustworthiness. I, I, in witness, that chicken witnessed... Now, now throughout the land, that's another building crate. Okay, let's see if the wolf is still following us. Doesn't appear so. All right, cool. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll find ourselves a building crate or a medicinal. Let's go this way. Maybe we'll find something over here. That's another building crate. You know, I am usually happy to see building crates, but right now I really wouldn't mind. Oh, that's an ammo crate. Yeah, see, how can you tell it's dark? I can't hear crap. Oh, a SVT bullet. That's actually really nice. Uh, we. I'm hoping that tonight we're going to get a frozen lake uh, because I really do want to uh, test out the whole... Um, oh, that's a fern. I'm starting to have trouble seeing... I do want to test out the uh, the whole axe, axing through the ice mechanic. That's it, rabbits. You better run. I have definitely proven myself to be a vicious, vicious killer. I am not seeing... What is that? That is... A carrot. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I, I, I was hoping that I could find a... Um, medicinal crate uh, tonight or today and so we could hear the new sound I think we've covered most of the new stuff except for so, you know the, the, the honey and all that we'll have as I say we'll have to wait for warmer and also the catfish by the way uh, we'll have to wait for warmer climbs for that to have to there's like a light up on the hill there huh Oh, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, that's the fortress. Wow, you can see it from down here. That is impressive. They, they must have a little, um, a couple of stories now. And some external exterior lights happening. All right, let's get the, uh, let's get our internal lights happening. Okay. We do have to feed our animals. We have our chores, of course, so we're going to do that. Here, let's put away uh, this, that, and we're just going to put the, the destroyed animal carcass in the in here because it's rotten meat. And uh, we'll add it to the rotten meat, rotten meat pile. Okay, um, we're going to grab you. And also we've got, look, we're going to save the rose hip. I think you just eat them. I don't think you can even make uh, berry water. Yeah, you can't make berry water with them. 
That's fine. I mean, it's okay. I don't... I'm not... That doesn't bother me in the least, so... Uh, okay. Oh, and for me, I'm gonna... Well, I'm gonna eat that later. When I let my hunger build up a little bit more. All right. Let's put uh, you, 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 and uh, uh, you away. Um, and that. And then in here, we've got uh, that, that, and... That goes in here. And then we've got fishing stuff. Let's just keep the fishing stuff aside. And we'll put these over here. Uh, that's a spare... Wow, you're going to need spare axes now. These days, that's that's definitely going to become a thing. Okay, we'll put that in there. Uh, we're going to grab... Uh, let's put our... Uh, who's and what's? It's back in the upper left-hand corner. And let's just grab some water. Take care of the animals. Get that done. Is it frozen yet? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, there we go. And then a couple of water. Perfect. I know! Look, 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 look. I'm sorry, Miss Chicken. Here, let me get the... The soothing yellow light out. I'm sorry, Miss Chicken. I know you've probably heard about what happened up on the hill up there, okay? Seriously, let me... Okay, it's... She's really upset. It's it's not personal. I don't plan on doing that with you, okay? And I, I know, I know, I know. I put it in the fridge, but really, it's not a big deal. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's all good. This is pretty nice. I like the yellow. Uh, the yellow looks really cool. What's it like underwater? Whoa! It's not bad. It's not full dark yet. I should be careful because it is going to freeze. Uh, I, 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 I don't have enough air to... I'd have to plan going under the ice. Because <laughs> you need to make sure... I suspect it takes time to chop your way out. <laughs> so uh, I'm a little bit worried about that without knowing. Okay, let's uh, put that away. And we'll get our axe back. So that's pretty cool the, with the yellow, uh, the yellow glow stick. That's really neat. I like that. I'm really happy with it. Okay, so a uh, couple of water. That should be enough, right? Yeah. Uh, you get fertilizer and a couple of water. Uh, fertilizer and a couple of water. Maybe a bit more. And a couple of water. Perfect. It's almost morning time. Oh, it's we're not going to get ice yet. Oh, bummer. I was hoping to demonstrate the whole uh, frozen thing, but not today. At least we got the pike, right? I mean, that was kind of cool. Uh, now, I'm going to eat you. Um... Maybe have a, one of you. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, I know what we can do. Here, before we cook the water, let's grab... Um, let's grab a... Let's do some comparison. Yeah, let's do some comparison. Okay. Let's, uh, let's cook up two of you, one of you. And we'll cook up all three of you. Okay. And then... We'll cook up all that water later. Is that Ruprecht? Oh, he's on the he's on the on the uh, rock over there. Yeah, he's a bit confused, but we don't worry about him. I mean, he'll be fine. Ruprecht is a survivor. Uh, you know, he he seems to always come back. I don't really understand it myself, but uh, he's always he always comes back. My power's doing good. We've got a lot of mass. How are we doing for glass? 50? Let's make some panels. Good enough. Because I want to try making one of those... Uh, I don't have enough panels for it. I want to try making one of those uh, curved, curved pieces. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show that. It's in here. Uh, this is the new curved piece. It's like, as I say, it's kind of like a geodesic dome section... 
Uh, it's it fits on the bottom along the uh, curved floor, so either curved foundation, curved ceiling, something like that, or curved wall, and then it has the glass. And I believe I this looks to me like a smaller profile. I'm gonna guess based on the fact that there's no new, uh, no new other other new shapes. I'm gonna guess that that is a quarter panel. So you could put this glass quarter ceiling there. All right. Oh, I burnt the. Oh my goodness. I burnt everything. Oh, that. Well, we could take a look at what the burnt stuff gives us. <laughs> Not much. Hey, you know what? 4.5 mass out of burnt small fish. Oh, don't. Don't ever make this turn that into oil again. You burn those, buddy. Those things, and you. You. Oh, you use them in your mass recycler. But we do have our fish steak, which is actually pretty good. Do we have any salmon? I don't think we do. I think I ate it all. Yeah, I ate it all. Oh, I've got little fish. Yeah, let's not worry about it. You know what? I want completeness. I want, I'm gonna get another perch. It won't take long. Actually, uh, let's let's face this way and, and see if we can spot any of the uh, the excitement that appears to be happening over there. One more little round of fishing. Is that a medicinal crate over there? Oh, my God. <sighs> There's also a white wolf between me and the... You know what? We're going to hear the medicinal crate many times. So you heard that there was a difference with the ammo crate. Um, we're running out of time. This is already running. A, just It's starting to run a bit long. Uh, and I, you know, I'm trying not to do that. So I know some people want longer episodes, but some people... I don't know. I found that the one day, one episode thing works really well for me. It seems to be just the right link. Okay, let's see if we can get ourselves something. <laughs> and then, you know what? I think what I'll do is we'll let's pick this up in the next episode. We're going to do a comparison of the perch versus the small fish nutrition-wise. Um, and and see what that's all about. That's, a, that's part of the plan. And then I think we're just going to have to do... Well, maybe we can make the new, uh, the new panel. I, I'll show you where I want to put it. Because I think it would look really cool there. We could at least try it, right? Um, and then, yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. So <clears throat> I'm going to, well, I think, yeah, we're going to do more fishing another time. All right. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I had to do this. Oh, rose hips. Uh, I couldn't leave you hanging on the ice fishing thing. I, I, I'm so excited about it. I wanted to get it an update in. This is my season three base. Uh, I've, I basically have used it for, well, the, the most of it's the original base. That right there is a prototype of a, of a tower that I put on the, my season four base. Um, I basically picked this one because it was already, uh, well, it, I, I don't mind setting it to December <laughs> or January. Actually, I think I set it to January. Yeah, this thing, this is a, it, this, this base, this, I'll tell you this season, it, or this thing, it, it predates a lot of things. I have the old bow because the recurve bow, I don't even know if it existed yet when I, when season three was a thing, but let's, um, let's get to the point. The point is ice fishing. So essentially what you can do is you can, you can use your little, your ax, or well, you have to crouch. There we go. Look at that. Oh, okay. All right. All right. This is kind of exciting. I'm watching my... It, it really does chew through the... Uh, whoa! And there you go. You get yourself a little hole. And then I guess you can go into the hole. And now you can swim around under here. And then I'm going to do this right here. Near my thing. I'm going to... Then essentially what? You can chop your way out. Yeah, look at my oxygen level going down. Look at how long this takes. Oh, man. Can you imagine suffocating and... Oh, and then you, it, it, it vaults you <laughs> up. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't I just do one? Okay. So let's go. Let's go down into here and then we can go up here. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, cool games. You're awesome. <laughs> All right. So that's the first part. The second part is the fishing business. Okay. So we can, you, you basically have the fishing rod in your hand. It looks like you walk up to it and then, yeah, it, as it said in the notes, you just, it just, just hit E and it just drops the line in, right? And now we can just, we can do some fishing. What would be cool is if we could actually see the fish. I don't want to, oh, 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 the, 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 you see the bobber? Bobber just went, 
Uh, oh, I got something! Oh, it's big! Oh, no, it's not. What is it? Is it a little fish? It looks like it was big, but I don't think... Uh... Can, really? Okay, there we go. It's it's a perch! Ha ha ha! Okay, let's try another one. Come on. I want a pike! Give me a pike! <laughs> it's kind of the traditional thing you you catch in ice fishing. Oh, pike, I think, is one of those things that tends to tends to well at least the the ice fishing that I've that I'm that I know about I haven't actually gone ice fishing myself but I know people who do or have uh, it doesn't get cold enough where I live for uh, for ice fishing it doesn't get cold enough where I live for lakes to freeze over all right <laughs> which is weird for Canada but it's a it is an anomaly it's a the west coast is definitely warm okay let's see if we can get one more fish and then we can call it uh, I, I'm not going to get a catfish, obviously, because this is a big lake. Uh, you know, imagine in my surprise if I actually did catch a, a catch a catfish. That would be kind of cool. Seriously, you're just gonna like you're just gonna twitch. You gotta think like a fish. Ooh, is that a is that a lovely lovely grub hanging on? Uh, it's winter time. I haven't seen a grub in weeks. <laughs> oh come on. You can do it. Do 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 Hmm <laughs> That is the twitchiest bobber that isn't actually catching anything I've ever seen. And you know it is kinda cool to see the bobber up close like that. I mean I've done it in co op games when other people fish, you can go up and take a look at their lines and stuff like that. Oh come on. Seriously. <laughs> there we go. That's another little fish. All right. Well, I guess that's the way it is. Come on. Reel it in. How how far down this... There we go. I have to get closer. Okay. There we go. That's, um... Yeah. So, this is, uh... This is my Season 3 base, by the way. Somebody asked me once about, uh... Using, um... Hatches down in the water. Uh... I will tell you that... Um... From personal experience... I know that it is fraught with peril. By the way, this is where I used to defend myself from all the hunters. It is fraught with peril. I've been... I got... I've got stuck under there. Oh, but this is cool. This one, I had a... It's got a, like a... a where, this is where all my mass and my... All the storage is. I, I... I meant to close all this up. But, you know. And, uh... Yeah. I like this base. And then you come up here. And... There's a sort of a one and a half high ceiling with uh, with windows there and a bedroom, and then this is where you can you can fight from up here, right? And then uh, also there's another floor. You just come out here and you go up, and here's the ceiling with a few paltry little solar panels. Yeah. All right. Uh, for reels this time, thank you very much. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye bye. Yeah, that's the prototype for the tower, by the way. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>